Barnes launched yeah. the ball, dropped it, turned around, dunks it. everyone and welcome to Michael High School for 59th district action. I'm which district I'm at here. Charlie Finns along with Coach Kelly Wells or Athletic Director Kelly Wells. She's always going to be coached to me, but uh, Kelly, glad to have you with us. Oh, it's great for tournament basketball. Thank you for the invite and, and super thrilled about the matchup tonight and all week. So we're excited to get this postseason underway. Open, opening game tonight will be East Ridge. Uh, and Jenkins, uh, Eastridge, I guess, is the number one seed here in the district. Uh, really a strange district as everything had to be uh, done by a draw this year. Yeah, it's been, been a real, little bit confusing. You know, I think East Ridge has had a great season all year long and locked up that number one seed that uh, led to a uh, matchup of Pikeville Shelby Valley tomorrow. Should be a great game as well. And uh, looking forward to seeing uh, Jenkins and uh, East Ridge here tonight and see what both these two teams can do. Yeah, I think so. I know East Ridge has been, they played well. You know, they, uh, really consistent they don't ever get themselves out of a ball game they stay under composure most of the time kind of uh the same as their uh coaches yeah and in times i've seen a play when they've shot the ball in the basket like they've really really looked good and uh, certainly i don't see any reason why they won't continue that they're off to a 13 and 8 uh start on the season didn't get to play all of their games like most but uh, the games I've seen them play, they've played really, really well. And when that ball goes in the basket, it sure makes the game real easy for them. Yes, it does. It really does. It's going to be an interesting one here tonight. <coughs> Excuse me. Jenkins coming in uh, two and six uh, or on the season, one and seven here in the region. And, of course, I don't think they've played a district game all season. You know, COVID and everything in short numbers over there. I only think they're on dressing seven tonight. Yeah, and, and I can tell you a little bit of history about Corey Hairston. Their head coach was at Alice Lloyd when I first yep. got here. A super uh, basketball player, super young man, and uh, cheering for him to do well. And I'll be anxious to kind of see what his team does for him. And he is low on numbers with seven warming up. And I'm sure there'll be a little bit of pressure applied to them, and they'll have to respond to that. But certainly rooting for the small school guy and Corey as well. Absolutely. Of course, uh, the Intermountain Sports Network would like to thank our partner sponsors for becoming part of our broadcast team. Thanks for your sponsorship and support of the girls and boys 58th, 59th, 60th districts and the 15th region tournament. Appalachian Wires, Jennifer Reynolds State Farm, HPT Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, Pop Chevrolet, Total Pharmacy, Community Trust Bank, Gearhart Security, Remax, Frontier Medical Group, Southern Prep, Intermountain Cable, Citizens National Bank of Kentucky, Howard Family Pharmacy, Attorney John Earl Hunt, Overhead Door of Eastern Kentucky, Hutch Chevrolet, and Pikeville RV. We appreciate all those folks bringing you, letting us bring you all the action here tonight. And it's going to be great. You can watch us on WPRG. Well, you can watch us on the WPRG.TV Facebook page, on YouTube, and on our website, WPRG.TV. And the re these will all be replayed later on the Channel 5 and Channel 105 HD. And so if you want to watch your, any of these games, you're out there for you and available. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back. This is the Intermountain Good Sports Network. And welcome. Well, spring is here with warmer temperatures and sunshine. Now that means let's go camping. Pikeville RV has new campers arriving daily, and they've added two new lines, new Cherokee travel trailers and east-west campers. Whether you're looking for a drivable, fifth wheel, toy hauler, travel trailer, or pop-ups, Pikeville RV is the place to shop. Remember, they have a great selection of pre-owned campers that qualify for buy here, pay here. It's time to go camping sharing a big family moment, working hard from home, relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age, where reliable internet has never been more important. Gearheart Broadband keeps your family connected. 
with consistent speeds up to one gig and plume adaptive Wi-Fi. Make sure your home's ready for life in the broadband age. Call our local service team or visit Gearheart Broadband online to learn more. It's March Gladness here at Pop Chevy in Prestonsburg, which means we've got 0% for up to 72 months and 1.9% for up to 84 months on select new vehicles. Got a stimulus check coming? Put that money down on a vehicle that's going to last longer than this pandemic on one of our hundreds of pre-owned vehicles here on the lot. Come take advantage of March Gladness here at Pop Chevy 600 US 23 in Prestonsburg. You'll be glad you did. Experiencing pain or an injury is part of life. Whether it's chronic aches and pains, athletic injuries, or recovering from a surgery, HPT Physical Therapy is here to help you return to your normal activities safely and as quickly as possible. We've been serving the community of Eastern Kentucky for more than 20 years and have convenient locations in Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville, Kentucky. Check us out at hptphysicaltherapy.com. You have the choice of where to go for physical therapy. Choose the best. Choose HPT Physical Therapy. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one-touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Hutchison here with Hutch Chevy Buick GMC in Paintsville, Kentucky. This month, spring has sprung. Get up to $7,000 off the new 2021 Chevy Silverado and take $3,000 off the new 2021 Equinox. Plus, get 0% financing for up to 72 months. And it all comes with our spring guarantee. You'll never pay too much when you buy from Hutch. Hutch out of your gut. Experiencing pain or an injury is part of life. Whether it's chronic aches and pains, athletic injuries, or recovering from a surgery, HPT Physical Therapy is here to help you return to your normal activities safely and as quickly as possible. We've been serving the community of Eastern Kentucky for more than 20 years and have convenient locations in Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville, Kentucky. Check us out at hptphysicaltherapy.com. You have the choice of where to go for physical therapy. Choose the best. Choose HPT Physical Therapy. Welcome back to the Pikeville High School, the T.W. Oliver Memorial Gymnasium. I'll spit it out in a minute. I was about ready to say because it was out on the football field last week. You've been in so many different venues, I do not know how you would <laughs> keep any of them straight. But we are here at uh, Pikeville High School and John Bill Trivet Court looking forward to a great uh, opening round game here. You know, you come in, you look at uh, some, of the, not, some of the numbers are not really that bad for uh, some of the players on either team, you know, for – Eastridge, obviously, Isaac Woods is uh, averaging 14.6 points a ball game. And Jonathan Mills at 12.6. And Eli Rose, 12.2. And Braxton Stanley, 10.2. And then Eli Seiskin at 9.8. That's the top six average almost double figures. Yeah, when, you're, when your top crew is all average and equal points, it's kind of hard to, uh, to really pin on somebody. It's hard to scout. It's hard to play them that way. You can't help off certain people. And, again, their top five right there are all averaging double figures. And, uh, Eli Rose also averaging eight rebounds a game, and uh, Jonathan Mills with seven there too. So they do a good job of being on both ends of the scoring and then rebounding. And uh, you know, you look statistically at both teams compared the overall stats. You know, you got East Ridge coming in shooting almost 49% from the field, and uh, Jenkins at 38. But as you went across the board there, you know, East Ridge has got the advantage statistically on the game, and uh, Jenkins will have to definitely step it up tonight to compete. Well, you know, East Ridge is a team that really shoots the ball well from. Uh, different you know, from distance you know they shoot a lot of threes i think they probably average about eight threes a game made threes and you know that's pretty good plus them and they got a lot of guys that can shoot them too you know woods obviously probably is their one of their number he shoots 41 percent mills 43 percent you know eli Sachs, the big guy in the middle shoots 44 percent behind the three-point line so those are big, those are big numbers yeah all their guys that are going to play significant minutes all shoot the three well for a team that's uh, shooting almost 39% from the three. So they've got options out there on the perimeter as well as some 
some good size on the inside, and uh, they get you know looking at lineups here and uh, starting rotation. Uh, there's definitely a size advantage down here on the East Ridge side. They are, you know, and I'll tell you right now, Eli Rose is a beast in the paint, Kelly. He'll take it to the, he'll take it to the rim, and he'll rip down anything that comes close to him. Well, and, and, and indicated in his stats, they're averaging 12 and 8. So like he's doing a really, really good job for them. It kind of anchors what they're doing, and uh, you know, and again, the same thing with Isaac Woods and Jonathan Mills are out there. Uh, putting the ball in the basket as well it really makes them a tough cover and tough defenders and uh, they've just been a team of surprise for me i've been really impressed with what coach justice has done with the team and you and i talked a little bit before the game probably one of the guys you got to talk about for coach of the year for the region and yeah I think done so. a tremendous job over there i think he is i think he's done a great job and uh, this is a, a, a actually a good better crowd than i expected here tonight uh, the east ridge size and the jenkins side really yeah it, it really has been good you got a good crowd on both lower arena lower sections here and uh, East Ridge came in rolling early. They weren't too far off our footsteps coming in. No, so you're were, right. They were excited about tonight's game. We're getting ready now for the starting lineups and get ready to tip this one off and see uh, what kind of action we're going to have. Both teams back on their respective benches. Yeah, and I have to have, make a plug for U Pike alumni Johnny Miller sitting on the bench over at East Ridge. It's always good to see my guys out doing, making a difference in coaching and making a difference in teaching. I'm proud of Johnny and uh, his impact he'll have for those folks over at East Ridge. Well, absolutely. You know, Bo, you know, obviously both of us are big uh, U-Pike fans. I've, we've been doing this a long time together on the basketball court. And I think we're about to get our starting lineups well, coming out. Again, ladies and gentlemen, to Pikeville High School. Now, let's meet the starting lineups for both teams. First, for the visitors from Jenkins. Starting at guard, a junior, number one, Trevor Davis. At forward, a senior, number 13, Keegan Bentley. At center, the sophomore, number 42, Colby Stewart. At guard, a junior, number 33, Austin Johnson. And a freshman, number double zero, Giovanni Jones. The Cavaliers are coached by Corey Harrison. Now, the home team from Eastridge. At forward, a junior, number four, John Mills. At forward, a junior, number 22, Eli Sykes. At guard, a junior, number 24, Braxton Stanley. At forward, a senior, number 25, Hunter Dameron. And at forward, a senior, number 33, Eli Rose. The Warriors are coached by Brody Justin. No question, Jenkins is ahead in the hair and beard category. They've yeah. got a lot of facial hair and a lot of hair going on tonight, for sure. You are correct. They've got some size out there. You know, uh, Colby Stewart, uh, I think they said that's Leslie Stewart's younger brother, okay. played here at uh, Pitewell. I can see some resemblance, yep. no question. Yeah, good size, long. And as they get together, it's probably pretty comparable matchup size-wise. Yep. So East Ridge wins the coin calls. That's still hard to get used to. <laughs> it is. East Ridge working around the outside. They're going to try to Mills looking in the corner back out there. It's going to be a three. Stanley, no. And rebound going to be run down by Stanley. He'll back it. Looks like Jenkins is coming out in a little two, three packet in zone and trying to match up a little bit out of it. And uh, as expected, East Ridge shoots a three on the very first possession. Hunter Dameron out of the corner. Good. He's one of their uh, better shooters. He's averaging about 44% from behind the three-point line. Yeah, and as expected here, too, you're going to see pressure coming yep. right back at him. And uh, East Ridge took advantage. Kicks it back out to Hunter Dameron. Three on his way. Good. M might want to find Hunter Dameron. He's, yeah. uh, he's off to a good start. He is He is the redhead out there. You should be able to pin him. He, he's the only one out there with red hair. You're right. Makes it. There's a. Yep, said he didn't get it. Nice hustle over there by Jonathan Mills. Yeah, East Ridge is really putting some pressure on them in the full court. Now they're backing it up a little bit to half court. It looks like they're going to come out and match up man-to-man. -man. Yep. And they'll bring 
Davis into the front court with it. Again, working it. Look for Jenkins, I would think, try to get it down inside, and they do, and they throw it away, trying to get it to Keegan Bentley. So 6.53 to go here in the first quarter, sticks to nothing quickly yeah, for the East Ridge Warriors. It, it does happen quickly when you leave people open on the perimeter. They've got to get out of their zone and get to that corner, especially over in that right side corner. Yep. And Dameron will be sitting in there waiting for a pass. There he goes. Yeah. Skip pass over across to him. Tough angle on that pass, but a, a nice, nice pass. Nice delivery down inside and block shot for Jenkins. And there's going to be a foul on Eastridge. And that'll be on Eli Rhodes. His first personal foul, team's first. Got caught reaching a little bit. Yep. Great pressure here by Eastridge, really making Jenkins work to catch it every time. Davis out top with it, guarded out there by Dameron. Jenkins looking inside, has it tipped away. Back out front with it again. Johnson drives to the lane, takes it all the way underneath, shots up, and no good. Rebound will come off to Mills, and he'll lose it out of bounds. Yeah, great job of verticality right there. and. Uh, Jonathan Mills was straight up, had nowhere to go, and caught, got a block shot out of the deal. Dameron will kick it back out to Stanley. Look at inside. Great high-low, very yep. nice work. Well, good passing, and there is Dameron shot no good. He's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Great ball movement by East Ridge right there. That foul will go on Keegan Bentley, his first, team's first. His first personal foul. Teams first. Hunter Dameron, a 60% free throw shooter. That's something kids need to work on more in high school, isn't it? Yeah, free he's, good. he's got a great release, great follow through. He should be a good free throw shooter, and it's showing right there. It's one of the things coming into college that you like to see his uh, free throw shooting, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Those are those are two great makes. Eight nothing now. Eight nothing. Hunter Davis or Hunter, Hunter Dameron. Dameron. Yep. There's that 2-2-1 uh, two, two, press. Great job by Jenkins getting the ball in the middle of the floor and kind of spacing out their defense a little bit and got into the offense. Keegan end. Bentley for three. Nope. Rebound comes off to Mills. And he's trying to push the advantage up the floor quickly. Hunter Dameron on the other corner. This one's no good. Tip back up. No. Nope. And we'll have a jump ball, I believe. Yep. And it'll jump ball possession. go to Jenkins. Jenkins will try to bring it up again. 2-2-1 two, two, pressure. And they're going to get the blocking call on Eli Rose. Fouls on East Ridge, number 33, Eli Rose. That's two fouls. That's not, that's not ideal. Nope, second. nope. Probably get him a seat on the bench here in a minute. And I'm not sure what else he could have done. There's Mills, and that's trying to get a little over aggressive going for the steal. He'll pick up the foul. On East Ridge, number four, Mills, his first personal foul. Teams third. So third Checking foul on East Ridge here. Isaac Woods. Woods will check in. Isaac Woods. Coming back off the bench after. East Ridge staying in their man to man. It's yep. really been causing some problems on entry, especially on these out of bounds plays. Jenkins tried to get it in, and they'll throw it up inside. Stewart shot up. Nice move by Stewart. Puts it in for two. Very good left shoulder jump shot. Into the front court come the Warriors. Working it around the top. Stanley can shoot from out there. He has it. Hunter Dameron looking at that shot. Has it knocked loose. Gives it up. And good hands by Sykes. Three good. That's Isaac Woods. That's Four made baskets, three of them behind the line. That zone has forced them on the perimeter, and they've taken advantage. Not the place you want to pick that ball up. Nope. And off of his knee, out of bounds. And we got a timeout called by Jenkins. It's a 30, so we'll stay right here. And I tell you, you know, Kelly, right now, the Eastridge doing what they do. They're putting that pressure on and just trying to keep that momentum. Yeah, you could kind of feel it even in warm-ups that, that, that they were going to try to take advantage of the low numbers from Jenkins, and they've done a great job in their press, and probably a little bit more fouling than, than Coach Justice would want in that scenario, but it's really giving 
Jenkins fits on entering the basketball, dribbling the basketball. It's really been uh, tough sledding for them so far. It is, and you know, that's a tough matchup because you know, experienced team over there too. You got a couple seniors out there for uh, East Ridge. You got really some bulk inside too with uh, with Sykes and uh, Rose. Of course, Rose will be on the bench for a while now with those two fouls. Yeah, they, they are big and they're strong and they're built well, and uh, that can cause you some troubles when you're trying to get around them. Jenkins coming back out in their two-three zone. Getting a little more aggressive out of it now, though. There's a three by Hunter Dameron, and that's his third one of the first quarter. Hunter Dameron. Yeah, Hunter has found the hole. He's shooting it with confidence, no hesitation, and it's uh, it looks beautiful going up. Well, you got about 11, got 11 points of the 14 right now. Yeah, a little little one two two half court trap. Drive and the basket this time by Austin Johnson. Johnson. Much needed basket. Yep. Bring the score 14 to four. Dameron over on the right side. Thought he might pull the trigger on that one. Yeah, I'd have a hard time not pulling the trigger as good a start as he's had. Yep. There's Woods for three. It's good. Three point pass. That's the fifth three pointer here in the first quarter Woods. for the Warriors. They have been practicing their long range jumpers. Yes, they have. Jenkins bringing it up the floor. That's Keegan Bentley. They give it up. Little runner off the glass and good by Austin, Austin Johnson. Johnson. Good use of the left hand. Yep, a little one hand runner. There's a three. No, this time that's Stanley with the miss. Rebound though, Sykes. He puts it up and he gets fouled. I believe that'll be Keegan Bentley. It is. That's his Kelsey second. Jenkins, number 13, Keegan Bentley. That is his second personal foul. Team second. Eli Sykes will be at the line for two. Great offensive rebound by Eli there. First one is rims out. Eli, 59% free throw shooter. Shoots 52% from the floor. Of course, he likes to shoot close in. Yes. Second one off the back of the rim, no good. We have a... Checking in the game for the Warriors, okay. number five, Jackson Potter. Going, Jackson Potter going to check in. What happened? We have a lane violation? Must have. I didn't see a call for it, but uh, evidently so, yes. He turned around and brought the player in. I thought, well, it's unusual to call a blow whistle. But Just enough time to get yep, it right. Yep. So now now he has is one for two. Yes. One and the other one doesn't count. 18-6. Now we got a... Yes, we have a 30-second timeout. I'm not sure. Good no, morning. we have a full timeout. We'll take a break. Be right back. This is Intermountain Sports Network. Smart devices make our lives better, but they're also susceptible to hackers. That's why Plume helps identify when a device is acting strange. You mean like talking to itself for no reason? I'm talking to the audience. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. Appalachian Wireless now offers Unlimited Plus with 50 gigabytes of data and no overages. And it starts at just $90 a month for the first line. Go to AppalachianWireless.com or visit a retail store for more information on Unlimited Plus. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Hey y'all, so today me and Maddie decided to bring Connor and our girls day to Southern Prep. We started off with Old Rare Teas, and me and Maddie moved to our favorite brand, Thread and Supply. Me and Maddie picked out our favorite polo from Honored Reserve. Next was Southern Marsh, and his favorite, the normal brand. Y'all stop by and see Corey at Southern Prep for the cutest outfits all year round. Her again. Dealing with a childish realtor? Well, it's not about them, it's about you. Make an adult decision and call us. No. Sorry about that. We have a foul call. It'll be on uh, Isaac Woods. His first personal foul. Teams four. Fouls are starting to rack up a little bit on the pressure. I see Coach Justin yep. backed it up to a little half court trap here and a little one, two, two. And Jenkins is lined up with a man in the middle. We got to see if we can get it over to him. Yeah, and that's a good call because that ball was tipped. 
And Austin Johnson will bring it in. Well, thought he was going to bring it in the front court, gets it back. Eastridge still aggressive in that, in that half court defense, and Jenkins throws it away. Great job of getting the ball in the middle where you want it. Poor execution on the second pass on that, but that's where you want to try to attack that 1 2 2. Yeah, you know, make them, make them work. Back in the zone for, for Jenkins here, and Eastridge moving the ball around the perimeter. Back in that high post. Love that action. High Potter low. for three. Nope. Rebound Sykes puts it in off the pass from Jonathan Mills. Very unselfish play. Get their teammates involved and back into the pressure. And there's the steal. They go back underneath and laying it in is uh, Braxton Stanley. Nice job of getting the pressure broken in the front down the sideline here and trap is back on. Yep. And out of bounds, stepped on the sideline. 22 to 6 now, 2.13 to play here in the first. It's been uh, all Warriors. Yeah, very dominating first quarter here so far. Great nice pass in the high post. Sox can't complete. Rebound comes off down to Bentley. Yeah, I think Sykes would like to have that one back. Yeah. Great job of getting into the middle, but you got to turn opposite. Don't try to throw it back front side. There it is. Good. That's better, but we got to get across the half court. Jenkins in the half court. Nice pass. Stewart, nowhere to go, though. A lazy great. pass, yeah. Great hands, great deflection there. Another, another run out layup right here for Braxton Stanley. 24 to 6. And driving it inside was Davis, and he'll be out of bounds back to Eastridge. Yeah, Mills does a great job of playing vertical. That's twice now they've got into the basket. And he's just stayed vertical and big, and that's the rule. He's he's allowed to do that, and certainly he's caused two turnovers. Yep. And working it around, Eastridge trying to get a look. Woods, beautiful pass and an easy one for Sykes. Yeah, Eli's done a great job of staying behind the zone, and they're just kind of picking it apart from the top. You know, they're, they're leaving that baseline open. Yeah, they're getting a little lifted on their zone and not really covering that top piece at all. Oop. Jenkins still with Jenkins the is really struggling with the pressure that East Ridge is currently applying. Look a little, little rattled with the ball right yep. now. Davis, beautiful pass. Oh, Stewart from the elbow, no. Rebound comes off to Mills. And he's going to take it all the way down. And nice block. Was that Keegan Bentley? Yep. Man, nice job. Keegan did a great job recovering back on, D on transition. Got him a good block. Let's see what Easter draws up here out of bounds underneath against the zone. Mills open in the corner over there. They don't get it to him. Potter. Nope. Still in the 2 3. Looks like they might be, uh, they're really watching Mills in the middle, aren't they? Yeah, they're trying to make some adjustments here, but every time he steps up, that leaves that baseline guy open. The guards are going to have to help him cover yep. that high post a little bit. Potter puts it off the glass. Good. Hey, great bank shot. Really nice execution there. Using the backboards almost a lost start nowadays. The banking board is your friend. Great offensive rebound. Hey, awesome job using your left hand, and basket is good. So 28-8 here at the end of the first quarter. Eastridge is the Intermountain Sports Network. It's March Gladness here at Pop Chevy in Prestonsburg, which means we've got 0% for up to 72 months and 1.9% for up to 84 months on select new vehicles. Got a stimulus check coming? Put that money down on a vehicle that's going to last longer than this pandemic on one of our hundreds of pre-owned vehicles here on the lot. Come take advantage of March Gladness here at Pop Chevy 600 US 23 in Prestonsburg. You'll be glad you did. You're on the move every day. You're mobile and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Welcome back to 
Pikeville High School, 28 to eight right now. East Ridge leading the Jenkins Cavaliers. You know, Jenkins has come out and played pretty well though, really. They, they've been very scrappy. Ball hadn't kind of went in their favor and East Ridge has just really been super hot. Five threes there in that first uh, first stage of the uh, the first quarter there. And it's hard to do anything when somebody's that hot putting the ball in the basket, which it led is. to a, a 28 point quarter in, uh, in high school basketball is very impressive. Yes, it is. That's what a, it's 112. Yeah, that, that would be a great score. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully East Ridge doesn't get to that for everybody's sake, I think. And we got uh, Zach Mason into the ball game now for got a lot of people in for East Ridge. Good adjustment there on the high post. That's the first time they've really covered that high post well with the opposite guard. Brad Howell in as well. We go down to Rose. Back up to Mason. He should be very patient this trip down, though. They aren't taking bad shots, which is why they're making good shots. Yep. So here's There's another a wide open shot. Three, no by Mason. Yep. And we're going to get a foul. I think it'll be on. I think it's on Keegan Bentley. Yep. Yep. That and that was a correct call. He held him down, not, didn't let him rebound. But that's three personal fouls for him. Foul. And he has Jeez. all of their fouls. Yep. And checking in, in is Slam, Sam Hall, Hall for Bentley. He Bentley. And let's see, we've got uh, Matthew Mills into the ball game. There's well, Rose, nice it. block in there by Stewart. Very good, good job. And Jones had it and lost it. Coming back the other way. That is um, Howell. Nice shot put up in there by Matthew Mills. That was a good job of being patient, getting a good shot out of that alpha turnover. They, they did a really nice job recovering on that. Spacing for Jenkins right now is not good. They're actually in each other's way a little bit. Yep. There they broke the press, got an opportunity to come down. Johnson looking inside. Gets Lots it, of pressure, man. Gets it into Stewart. Nice shot off what, the glass. What a hook shot. Stewart. Stewart with a great move, kept the ball high, got it off the banking board and in. Now get it back out quickly to Mason. You can see Jenkins has made a little bit of adjustment yep. of putting their high post guy up there to match up, but didn't do any good on that one. That Eli was, Rose is just so strong he, inside. He had his way right there. Great drive, strong hand, finished well. Good reach in from behind that way by Brad Howell to knock it out of bounds. It'll stay with Jenkins. Yeah, the pressure's been been really tough on Jenkins so far, and hats off to East Ridge. They were ready to go. They knew the game plan, and I've really executed it well. Jenkins with another great move. And two and one coming up for Stewart. Stewart's been a force inside. He's getting him some good baskets in there. Another great entry pass to him. He got a chance for an A and one. Number three, Matt Mills. His first personal foul. Matt Mills Jeez picks fit. up his first foul. Count the basket for Stewart. He'll be at the line shooting. Stewart, oh, thought it was gonna be a one-handed shot there for a minute. A unique lineup of the, uh -huh. of the shot, yep. almost like a rifle shooter, but he uh, didn't look bad on his finish. Yep, three, no out there by Howell. Rebound put back up and in by Sykes. I mean by Rose. 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 Yeah. yeah, he does a great job. He can just tell he's got a good nose for the ball and very athletic on the inside as well. Probably a little bit of an ill-advised shot yep. coming down the floor, but I have a sneaky suspicion there might be a sub coming yep. for that. Zach Mason picks up the foul, checking back in Hunter Dameron. I tried to get some vibes to Hunter Dameron. He should have shot that ball a little bit more when yep. he came out of the game. Bringing it up now, Austin Johnson, triple teamed. Now opposite. Trying to get it now. Pressure is intense out here. Yes, they're, 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 they're going after it. Yeah, good time out by yep. coach there. That was that was the right thing to do. So Corey Harrison's going to call a 30 second timeout. We'll remind you tonight's ball game brought to you by Appalachian Wireless, Jennifer Reynolds State Farm, HPT Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, Pop Chevrolet, Total Pharmacy, Intermountain Cable. We need to trust bank. Remax. Frontier Medical Group, Southern Prep, Your Heart Security, Citizens National Bank of Kentucky, Howard Family Pharmacy, Attorney John Earl Hunt, Overhead Door of Eastern Kentucky, Hutch Chevrolet, and Pikeville RV. 
Appreciate all those folks allowing us to bring you all the action, and we got a lot of action coming your way. Three districts and a regional tournament in the next two weeks. Yeah, and you, we can't do these kind of things for the kids and the student athletes without sponsorship, so it's great. Hats off to all those folks who have generously given to these broadcasts, and uh, it's going straight to the kids, and you know anything going to the kids is worthwhile, so we appreciate it, and hats off to, the, to all those sponsors. So it'll be Jenkins basketball. Coming out a little bit of a different. No, they're still in their 1 2 2 here. Half court trap. They're just sneaking up a little bit. Get a little greedy. You know, it, a good defender likes to get those steals. Yeah, and they're, they're very, they're, they're really getting after it up at the top of this. Not sure that wasn't a. Yeah, it wasn't over the back. I agree with you. And a nice drive and a layup for Zach Mason. Took advantage of the opportunity in fast break and went down there, made him a nice clean layup. Back in their 2 2 1 full court. Getting a little disorganized out. I think they all want to get that next steal, so yep. they're getting a little overloaded, which will lead to some of these shots if Jenkins can yep. make them. Trevor Davis can't connect on three. Rebound comes off to Dameron. Get it back out there. There's a three straight away, and that's good. Is that, uh, yep, that's Mag Mason again. Great ball movement. The ball touched the corner and then came on back out to the top of the key, and just he nailed it. Just a great stroke there. You can tell he was very confident. Great break Beautiful right here pass coming from Jenkins. And block, I believe. I think you got a hand on that one. May have. May have. Certainly used the wrong hand on the layup or might have had that one. Three. No. Rebound comes off to Hunter Dameron. Dameron kicks it into the corner. They'll save it. Dameron goes back and gets it. Mason for three. That's a good block in there by Stewart. Stewart. Pasco Rose for two. Yeah, Stewart's been everywhere for him defensively. He just can't cover everybody. So Eli Rose will go to the free throw line, and that's the thing. Even if you foul him, he's so strong, he can still go up with it. Yes, absolutely. Rose, first one, or only one is good. 42 to 12. Keep me active on this scorebook. Running the score is going fast. Yes, it is. Quickly into the front court, Jones. Will runner off the glass, no. Tipped up and Eli Rose with another rebound. And we had a crash. Yeah. Going to get a tripping call, I think, on Giovanni. No, I'm sorry, Trevor Davis. The foul is on Jenkins. It's his first. One, Trevor Davis. His first person. Yeah, kind of one of those in an unintentional feet getting tangled up deals. Four minutes left here in this first half. 42 to 12, Eastridge. Very patient in East Ridge on offense right here. Did a nice job finding in the corner. And, oh, what nice a great pass. flash. Yep. Great flash, great pass. That's Brad Howell with the basket. Now here comes that full court pressure again. Gambled. If Jenkins yep. can capitalize on some of these, they're, they're yep. starting to get a little bit too aggressive. And if they can get out of that first trap, there's, there's some opportunities. We have a. Here's our media. Yep, media timeout. We'll take a break. Be right back. This is Intermountain Sports Network. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. coverage you need when you need it most. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Hey y'all, so today me and Maddie decided to bring Connor and our girls day to Southern Prep. We started off with Odro Tees and me and Maddie moved to our favorite brand, Thread and Supply. Me and Maddie picked out our favorite polo from Honored Reserve. Next was Southern Marsh and his favorite, the normal brand. Y'all stop by and see Corey at Southern Prep for the cutest outfits all year round. Welcome back to the T.W. Oliver Memorial Gymnasium here. Charlie Pence along with Kelly Wells and uh, East Ridge looking good right now. They're a well-oiled machine so far. You know, this first and second quarter at this point has really been all East Ridge dominating defensively. That's led to a lot of open shots for their, their end offensively. Jenkins with it in the corner. Trying to get Stewart a little bit too far out for him, I think. Yeah, he needs to cut. There he is. Now he's back in his comfort zone. Little, nice little turnaround shot off the rim. No good. Rose with the rebound. 
And they're quickly back up the other way. Mason kicks it outside to Dameron. Dameron puts it up on the puts it on the floor. Must have been a little too close. Must have been, yeah. Yeah, he's had a great night just stepping in on the drive. And a good good job moving the basketball for East Ridge right there in transition. Yeah, Bet Jenkins sliding in there two three again. I have a feeling we're going to go in the opposite corner for a three here. Yep. What you're thinking of that? I'm looking. Oh, great pass to the middle. Oh, that's probably a shot. Yeah. Trying to get it down to the senior down there, Rose. Yeah, East Ridge is switching a little two three. There's a ball picked up quickly by Matthew Mills. He'll go up quick, nice. Yeah, stepped out of bounds. Yeah, well, great job of pitching the ball ahead, but uh, got a little too fast for himself there. Scooting it back to their 2 3 zone. Eli Rose out on the point. Oh, well, they went to 2 1 2 2, didn't two they? Yeah. And crap out of that. Mm. There's the steal. Can't put a floater up against that kind of pressure defense, nope. but great hustle back right there. That was an awesome hustle back by Giovanni Jones to stop the transition break. Anytime you throw that floater against pressure, especially, you're going to have trouble getting that done. Good post feed right here. Just left shoulder jump hook. Nope. Yep. Went back after it, but didn't quite get it. Great job boxing out there by Jenkins. We had four guys around the basket. That's good. That's good uh, rebounding position. Absolutely. Here they come back with a trapping. Defense might have missed a push off right there. Turn around up. No good in there by Johnson. Dominated rebound right there by Eli Rose. And, and one. one. Yep. That was Matthew or Brad Howell. I'm sorry, driving. Fouls on Jenkins, number 33, Austin Johnson. His second personal foul. Team's sixth. Count the basket for Howell. He'll be at the line shooting. Great and one finish right there. Let's see if he can capitalize on the free throw end of this. Yes, sir. Good one. And 47 to 12. Now big lead. Yeah, they've they've backed it back to the well, no, they're back in their half court trap again. And subs coming in at the at the next break. Good job moving the ball to the corner. Let's see if we can get one here. Johnson, nope, looks a little too strong. A little strong, but East Ridge is coming back in transition and Yep. Howell backs it back out. Under Dameron, yep. Nope. Stewart with a nice rebound. Oh, a little bit out yep. of control. Bailed out with a foul yep. call there. Foul is on the Hunter Dameron. Number 25, Hunter Dameron. His first personal foul. Teams seven. So we got Austin Johnson shooting two here. Number 33, Austin Johnson. Lefty, let's see if he can capitalize on a couple free throws here. Worked hard to get to the line. Yeah, they need some. Yeah, we need to break this score at 12 here. Off the yeah. back of the rim, yeah. A little bit long. A little bit long on that one. Second need to adjust it just a bit. Warriors, number 14, Jacob Woods. And number 15, Gavin Bryant. Some subs are in for the game here for East Ridge now with a good, solid lead. And there you go. Yep, Johnson got the good. second one. Got off that 12 market, but they've been on that for a while. Good to get to that 13. Working it out. Over on, going down inside and number 14 in the ball game, Jacob Woods with the basket. Seems to be a crowd favorite, yeah. Charlie. They, they were happy to see him get that bucket and came right in the game. No, no waste of time. Very good entry to the high post. Let's see if they can capitalize on that. That was the right idea. Oh, bad passing angle yeah. led to a turnover there. A little bit of a turnover, but right idea, just poor execution on it. Shout out to Connie Boyington, watching from Walters, Michigan. Oh, wow. Or Waters, Great Michigan. Lake State. Yeah. Working it up. East Ridge again, got a lot of subs into the game. That's uh, Gavin Riley. They're doing a really good job working the high low out of that 1-3-1 one, one offense, but a great, great block right there by Trevor Davis. But it bounced yep. right into the hands. Zach Mason. Zach Mason for a three. Being in the right place at the right time. Yep. There's an open look. Davis three is short. 
A little short and a great rebound there by East Ridge. And now they're in transition and nobody stopped oh, the ball. Nice job till the goal. Johnson. Yeah, at the goal. Got a great block at the rim. And he didn't get in, didn't get to pick up the charge. Fed kind of stepped to the side, just swatted as it went by. Yeah, he he he'd done that before, you could tell. He yep. had had a good angle on that. He's super long, long arms and got a good block. Here's another Mason again. Another yep. open three. We're gonna have to do a better job of, of guarding that three. Johnson with it again in the front court. Mm. There's another steal. Great hands, great deflection, top of the press there. and Mason for two. Yeah, he's, he's came in and been very, very aggressive. He's That's now seven points for Zach Mason off the bench. And that's the runner at the end of the first half. It's 54-13 Eastridge. We'll take a break and be right back. This is Intermountain Sports Network. Again. Dealing with a childish realtor? Well, it's not about them, it's about you. Make an adult decision and call us. No one sells more real estate than Remax. I'm Jennifer Reynolds, and I've been a state farm agent for over 20 years here in Pike. We offer all the products and services available through State Farm Insurance. You'll receive all the benefits of a State Farm agent in a convenient location while being serviced by my licensed staff in a friendly office environment. Call us if you need a quote for auto insurance, fire, life, or health, or if you need information on our financial services product. Our commitment is to you, our client. Walk in, call in, or click in anytime, day or night. Well, spring is here with warmer temperatures and sunshine. Now that means let's go camping. Pikeville RV has new campers arriving daily, and they've added two new lines, new Cherokee travel trailers and east-west campers. Whether you're looking for a drivable, fifth-wheel, toy hauler, travel trailer, or pop-ups, Pikeville RV is the place to shop. Remember, they have a great selection of pre-owned campers that qualify for buy here, pay here. It's time to go camping. Looking for a new pharmacy? Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive throughs at both locations. Experiencing pain or an injury is part of life. Whether it's chronic aches and pains, athletic injuries, or recovering from a surgery, HPT Physical Therapy is here to help you return to your normal activities safely and as quickly as possible. We've been serving the community of Eastern Kentucky for more than 20 years and have convenient locations in Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville, Kentucky. Check us out at hptphysicaltherapy.com. You have the choice of where to go for physical therapy. Choose the best. Choose HPT Physical Therapy. Oh, you're not going to believe this. What's going on? The neighbors got hacked again. Weird. We never get hacked. Nope. No, we don't. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. your chance for a great deal on smoke and fast internet from Gearhart broadband upgrade to the smoldering speed you need up to one gig and add plume adaptive wi-fi to reach every corner of your home experience no lag gaming your favorite music web surfing hd video streaming and connect to the latest smart devices if you're ready for an upgrade call or click Gearhart broadband for a great offer today it's March Gladness here at Pop Chevy in Prestonsburg, which means we've got 0% for up to 72 months and 1.9% for up to 84 months on select new vehicles. Got a stimulus check coming? Put that money down on a vehicle that's going to last longer than this pandemic on one of our hundreds of pre-owned vehicles here on the lot. Come take advantage of March Gladness here at Pop Chevy 600 US 23 in Prestonsburg. You'll be glad you did.
Even on the most perfect day, the unexpected can happen. But with just one call to their local Red Ribbon expert at Overhead Door, they can get their garage door fixed or replaced in a jiffy. The genuine, the original Overhead Door for all of life's little ups and downs. Welcome back to the T.W. Oliver Memorial Gymnasium. And uh, East Ridge leads it 54 to 13 here in a uh, impressive start. Yeah, very offensive driven there. I think, you know, East Ridge has been dominating from start to finish. Actually started out on the three point roll uh, right away. And it's kind of been same kind of sledding the entire game and hats off to East Ridge game preparation. They're ready to go and it shows on the scoreboard at a 54 to 13 clip here at half. Well, you know, they're putting a lot of points up. They're also playing some really good defense. A lot of their craps, they've turned them, all, turned them over a bunch here tonight. Yeah, they've, they've stayed in transition, especially that entire second quarter. It was steel layup, steel layup. You know, they just have really been a well-oiled machine in this first half and um, certainly Jenkins struggled with handling the basketball and had some open shots, just yep. didn't all of them go and uh, had a trouble, little bit of trouble putting the ball in the basket. Give us some of the uh, scoring for the first half, Eric Kelly. Yeah, we'll, we'll start with Jenkins, and, you know, the scoring's all been dominated by two players, and Austin Johnson, he's got seven in the first, and Colby Stewart's got six, and they've uh, been one for three from the free throw line in the in the first half. And East Ridge has been very balanced, like we talked about at the beginning of the game. A lot of people in the scoring column, and uh, they were led in scoring in the first half by Hunter Dameron. He had 11, uh, then a lot of people had some six and sevens. Zach Mason came in off the bench with seven. Isaac Woods with six. Uh, Eli Rose, after his foul trouble, came right out there, got him six. Braxton Stanley with four. Eli Sykes with six. Jackson Potter off the bench with two. Matthew Mills off the bench with two. And then Jacob Woods with five. And they end up being five for six from the free throw line, uh, which is nice. And they had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven threes in the first half. So. Uh, if they are on average make 14 threes in a game, that's a pretty good stat yes. for them. Well, you know, Hunter Dameron set the tone. I think he hit the first three he shot from the corner over there. And then they finally figured out they need to get him out of that zone, come and get him. Yeah, they made him, he made a mistake of shooting one inside and it's messed him all up. Yeah, he, he, he hasn't right. made a shot since then. But he uh, got off to an awesome start, and not only offensively, but he was a catalyst for him defensive too with his deflections and his hustle. Yeah, and it's been their, their defense, I think, is really kind of what drives their offense, and they get to transition, especially transition baskets. And something I've really thought, I think their passing, ball handling has been really good tonight. They, they've done a great job of dissecting the zone. It hadn't been from just one spot. They've got it to the high post. They've got it to the baseline. As we mentioned before, they've hit corner threes. They've also hit straightaway threes. They've really been diverse in their attack of the zone, and hats off to them for being prepared. You could tell that they've practiced a lot against that, and, Spent a lot of time shooting the ball in the cup because it, it, it definitely looked pretty and went in tonight. I want to give our uh, give another shout out to the folks that are allowing us to bring you this ball game. We'll start with Pikeville RV, Hutch Chevrolet, overhead door of Eastern Kentucky, Attorney John Earl Hunt, Howard Family Pharmacy, Citizens Bank of Kentucky, Earhart Security, Southern Prep, Frontier Medical Group, Remax, Community Trust Bank. Intermountain Cable, Total Pharmacy, Pop Chevrolet, HPT Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, Jennifer Reynolds State Farm, and Appalachian Wireless. Those folks are the ones that allow us to be here. And speaking of allows to be here, the uh, we have a pick out a player of the game here late in the second half. That'll be sponsored by uh, Gearheart Security. Appreciate them allowing us to recognize some of these young men and women when we'll get the girls later on. Yeah, those are great honors, and it's great opportunities to honor students. And I'm I'm a big believer in doing all we can to give recognition, and there's so much negativity out there right now. So anytime we can do something positive, and uh, we thank our sponsors for doing that, and certainly Gearheart's a front runner of that hospitality for sure. I know you've got a lot of things going on at UPike right now. It's been a busy week. I said they're looking Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You had baseball, softball, football, uh, soccer, volleyball, tennis. Yeah. Did I miss anybody? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, and our golf teams are golf both team, going. Yeah. Archery and bowling just yep. won yep. Mid-South Conference this weekend. We have 20, 22 sports currently full steam ahead in the spring. It's 
It's relentless is the only word I can find for it. And trying to cover all those activities the right way. Hats off to my staff. They will all be ready for a vacation by the time we get uh, to the end of this, this year. But we're excited about it. It's an opportunity for kids to play. We'll do whatever it takes to, to make sure that happens. But it is a busy, busy, busy time. And any night of the week, including Sunday, you'll find opportunities to watch you fight play. Oh, yeah. Now, bowling, bowling has been uh, – well, the most dominant sport on campus, really, since they've been there. Yeah, you, you, you loosely throw that word out, the greatest team of all time. But our bowling, uh, especially our women's side, are the, are the greatest of all time in the bowling at our level. They are unbelievable, and they are the, the gold standard. And our men are not too far behind doing an awesome job as well. So hats yeah. off to those guys and gals. And I appreciate all those. And I know I'll let you get a few shout-outs for your other employer out there. Yeah, you know, university is awesome. They're, they're great to me. They're great to us. And that yeah. certainly – uh, it's student focused and everything we do and that's why we have such an opportunity to really make a difference here in the spring semester of course uh, back getting ready to get a good one well get a hope a better second half here maybe jenkins can make some adjustments at halftime maybe get get a chance to get back in this a little bit well probably the break was good for them they could you know take a deep breath and relax a little bit the pressure has been hard on them and uh, probably you'll see some of that to change here a little bit in the second half. East Ridge will probably drop back a little bit more, and they'll be able to relax. And, and hopefully some shots will go in for them. We want it to be a good experience yeah. for them, too. And uh, if you're East Ridge shoes, you still got to play. You got, you know, you're trying to make yourself better. You can't just lay down. And, uh, but hopefully they'll make some adjustments on the pressure. Coach Randy McCoy watching from Florida, Kelly. Hey, all right, Coach McCoy. I had a great opportunity to catch up with him the other day, and I know he's super proud of these East Ridge folks, and another one's really proud of his coaching staff here that all these guys worked for him before. So he is the gold standard for U Pike and for East Ridge. And there's another steal by the Warriors. And Mills brings it up the floor. Nice pass, and Sykes with another basket. Yeah, great run right there. He got out on the floor. The big fella really got out leading the break, and uh, what a great opportunity for him to get out in transition. Normally he stays right underneath the basket. Another shot missed. Rebound comes off to Mills. So Mills in there quickly. The starters come back to start the second half. They're making a quick move, aren't they? They probably got the old warning. You better make yep. it quick. You better do well when you come out here. And then Isaac Wood certainly capitalized on that with the first three of the second half. Here comes Davis back the other way for Jenkins. We're going to match two three zones probably the rest of this game, yep. I would imagine. D Davis out of the corner for three. No. Great put, great offensive rebound. And trying to go back up with it. Get, having it blocked in there was Sam Hall. Yeah, good attempt right there and uh, by Sam Hall. Three, good over there by Hunter Dameron. Yeah, Hunter's, Hunter's really on fire, and he likes that corner. I can tell you, anybody that's scouting them better, <laughs> better find the, the redhead in the corner or he's going to make you pay. There's a three on the other end by Johnson. Good. Oh, hey, that was a great look there by Austin Johnson. Good to see him get on the board again here in the second half. A quick moving uh, third quarter here. Yeah, it is. I think both teams are just kind of brother-in-law on each other on defense. It's a little yep. bit of a horse contest right now. There's and, Dameron again. And Dameron's it. usually going to win that horse yep. game. Rebound Mills has it up, nearly stolen away. Gets it back out quickly. He'll shoot the three out of the corner now, and it's no good. Sykes with a rebound. There's Woods for a three straight away. It's no good. Great yeah. effort. Yep. Jonathan Mills has been on the board. I think it's his fourth. Well, the deflection there. That was, so he's got three rebounds early here in the in the third quarter, and I believe that clock is going to be running now. Yeah, I think so. I think it's going to kind of make a quick second half out of it. Davis will bring it up. Again, a 2-3 zone. I don't think you'll see them coming out as aggressive out of that this second half either. No, and I, I'd say you'll see some substitutions here as quick as you can. You want to try to reward those guys on the bench for all the hard work they do throughout the season as well. They need not, they deserve an opportunity as well. Jenkins being very patient this trip down. Now it looks like we're doing a little bit of screening of the zone, trying to trying to mix it up a little bit and get some new new offense going. Johnson free throw line jumper no good, and he'll be out of bounds. Off Mills, it'll stay with Jenkins. Jones will check in now for Hall. Jenkins gets it into the corner. Not where you want to inbound that no. ball. Try to go inside, knocked away. Very, and very active by Mills. Going to have a foul, looks like, on Eastridge. 
be on Hunter Dameron, I believe. And he say 25? 24. 24. 24. Just first. So Jenkins looking to get it inbounds. Straight away. Yep. Three on its way. And good it's rhythm. Good. Nice. Very Keegan good rhythm. Miller. And didn't hesitate. He's the now he's they've got Jenkins has three players in the scoring column. Dameron bringing it up the floor. Woods now will take over. He's over in the corner. Dameron passes it down inside. Back to Dameron. Three should be on its way, and it's good. Again, in the corner. That man's going to make it. Great inside out look, though. Everybody touched it on that side of the floor. High post, low post, went to the corner and drained it. He's making a big bid for that uh, Intermountain Sports player of the game. He is hunting that down. Oh, it looks like Jenkins is trying to run a little bit of version of the flex offense against his own. A little non-traditional, but certainly can work. There's a shot up hey. and good by Davis. Great job. We got mass substitution. Yep, got five new ones coming in for East Ridge. I'm sure glad we're not doing back stats to have to change all those numbers yes, real quick. Yes, sir. Mason checking in. Well, we're going to have a, have a timeout. Be a full media. timeout. We'll be right back. This is Intermountain Sports Network. Well, spring is here with warmer temperatures and sunshine. Now that means let's go camping. Pikeville RV has new campers arriving daily, and they've added two new lines, new Cherokee travel trailers and east-west campers. Whether you're looking for a drivable, fifth-wheel, toy hauler, travel trailer, or pop-ups, Pikeville RV is the place to shop. Remember, they have a great selection of pre-owned campers that qualify for buy here, pay here. It's time to go camping. Experiencing pain or an injury is part of life. Whether it's chronic aches and pains, athletic injuries, or recovering from a surgery, HPT Physical Therapy is here to help you return to your normal activities safely and as quickly as possible. We've been serving the community of Eastern Kentucky for more than 20 years and have convenient locations in Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville, Kentucky. Check us out at hptphysicaltherapy.com. You have the choice of where to go for physical therapy. Choose the best. Choose HPT Physical Therapy. Welcome back to the T.W. Oliver Memorial Gymnasium as Jackson Potter will bring it up the floor. Working it around over to Mason. And there's going to be a three on the other end. That is no by Great. Brad Howell and rebound. Great rebound foul over the back there on Zach Mason. Yep. We're going to move this one right along, aren't we? Yes, a quick transition, almost international rules right now. Stewart out front. He's wanting to go inside with it. Oh, a little high-low seal. Nice yep. play. Boy, wow. Nice shot inside that time by Keegan Bentley. Keegan Bentley is leading and scoring right now in the second half with five for, for Jenkins. Good inside-out play there by East Ridge, and that's wide open on the top when you do that. And Mason, yep. Tough Missed shot. It. Rebound sight. Or Rose. Boom. Runner's good. Great offensive rebound. He went and got his own basket. Back at the 2-3 zone here, and Jenkins keeping it spread. A five-out offense here going to a little bit of flex action. Jenkins trying to get some points on the board. Yeah, Keegan Bentley's doing a really good job on that backside of trying to seal the weak side of the zone. and A little, little greedy on the reach, a little greedy. Yeah, Jackson, nope. It'll be Brad Howell. Brad Howell. Got a little greedy reaching in there. All right. There's a three. No miss in there. That was Keegan Bentley. Great box out by Eli Rose. and Off the transition, here comes East Ridge with a running three. Nope. Oh, way to keep the ball alive right here. Use your left hand. Use your left hand. Begging somebody to use a left hand. Yeah. There's a little runner. Might have been might have had a hand on it, but again, a little strong rebound by Rose okay. and a putback. He didn't want to use that left hand, but he nope. got he got that rebound and right over the front of the rim. He made it a little more hard than it, a little more challenging than it needed to be. All right, Eastridge, not exactly sure what defense they were there. And it'll stay with Jenkins. I think they were in a zone and they had one man going rogue on that. Now they're man to man, yep. So maybe he was the only one that was right. Maybe. <laughs> yep, ball tipped around, coming out of there with it is Mason. Nice pass ahead. Oh, oh, oh. And 
misses the shot, but he'll go to the free throw line. That's Ryan, I'm sorry, wrong three. That's Matthew Mills. That's Keegan Bentley. That's his fourth. He needs to not foul. They need him in the ball game right now. Yep, three good out front by Jackson Potter. Potter with a great look from the top. Nothing but nylon. 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. 72-23. Jenkins trying to work it down in again. Bentley goes in. Oh, nice up and under. Very nice. Great move. That'll end up sending Austin Johnson back to the free throw line. I think he'd been there once on before. Number 23, Brad Howe. His second personal foul. Team's fourth. At the line for the Cavaliers, number 33, Johnson. Yeah, he was one for two so far. Let's see what he can do here. Nice one. Good okay. start for their 24th point of the game. One more on its way. Very and nice. 72-25 with 22 seconds left here in the third. 75% from the line. We'll take that every day. Yep. Three by Potter. Nope. Rebound comes off inside to Mason. He gets it blocked. Rebound comes out to Potter. We go inside, back up for a three by Howell. Good and one. Right at the buzzer. No, I thought he, thought he blew a whistle. I guess not. That'll be the end of the third quarter, 75-25. Eastridge, this is the Intermountain Sports Network. Finally, it's March, and Walter's Toyota is ready for the madness to begin. Right now, drive a new 2021 Toyota Camry for only $220 per month for 36 months. Or drive a new 2021 Toyota Tacoma for only $189 per month for 36 months. Bring your trade in. Bring your family. Just get to Walters Toyota in Pikeville for the March sales event. You can shop them online at WaltersToyota.com. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one-touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities. Welcome back to Pikeville High School. 75-25 Eastridge with the big lead here. Speaking of Eastridge, we'll give Julia Epling a former Bear shout-out. Absolutely. Us. Big shout-out to all those watching today and tuning in to our broadcast. We thank you for doing that, and we want to continue the support. Stay with us all week. So Eastridge will have it here as we start the fourth quarter. Working it around. Jenkins is leaving that top of the key open. That's going to cost them here in just a second. Yeah, they'll shoot it. There's a three on its way. No good. Great rebound by Stewart. Let's see if Jenkins can convert on this end against the West East Ridge. Going to be man to man. Jenkins hey, takes it to the hole for the little runner, oh. and he'll go to the free throw line. Great. Another opportunity at the line. We got 32 Lance Lockhart into the ball game for East Ridge. his third personal foul. I don't have him on. You have to write him in there. I left the him out. Jenkins, number 33, Austin Johnson, shooting two. And the first free throw is in and out. Great left-handed drive. Got rewarded the free throw line. Now let's see if he can capitalize on this second one. And does. Yes, sir. 75 26. Jenkins is staying steady in that 2 3 zone. Lockhart for three, no good. Rebound. Comes back. Potter. He'll back it out. Working around out front, trying to get a look. East Ridge just being very patient. I think they're trying to get some of the younger guys some shots here. There's one. That is no good by Lockhart. Lockhart's had a little bit of trouble dialing in there. Coming off the bench there was, was very, very aggressive. Yep. Substitutions a glory. Yeah, here. yeah. We'll just, we'll just have to pull out their big roster now because we didn't have enough room to write them all down. This is now going to be the 10, 15th total players, I think, yep. that have played. Yep. Gunner Award, number 12. Try to get their numbers out there. Gavin Riley's back in the ballgame. 31, 31 is Isaiah Adkins. 
Jenkins. Yeah, coming back in man to man as well. And Jenkins takes it. There's a little runner in the lane. Good by Keegan Bitt. Keegan's had a good second half. That's now seven for him in the second half. East Ridge taking her time. Riley with it out front. He'll pull up for three. Nope. Rebound comes off to uh, Johnson. Johnson good, goes, yep. Good up and under. Yep. He is living at that free throw line in the yes, second half. Is. 15. Gavin Riley. His first personal foul. Tips. So we'll see. A, we'll see a lot of people playing that we haven't seen much of. Free yes, throws good, but that's what that's what it's all about. Absolutely. You get these opportunities to play your bench, you need to do that. It gives them some experience and chance to keep them interested too. And those guys work just as hard as everybody else every day in practice. Yep. Big part. Great rebound. Yep. Sky up there. Rebound. Nice. Is that 31. 31. We find his name on here. That's Isaiah Adkins. Working down inside. Great high low pass. There Adkins he is again. shot up. Nope. But good good move. And Davis loses it out of bounds. It'll stay with Eastridge. You got Gunner Award throws it inbounds. Gavin Riley with it out front. Getting hounded out there. Yeah, he was. Oh, Nice block in there by Stewart. Stewart with another block. Been very active this game. Little hand fighting going on out there. Yes, it, it, it's getting a little physical. Lots of hand checks. Oh, yeah. my. Yep, they were going to let him play for a while until it got a little excessive. 31 with 31, the five. that is That's Isaiah Adkins. And at the free throw line, we got uh, B Keegan Bentley. Keegan no, Bentley, yes, 31. made the first one. Yep. Make some both. And Jenkins with good defense, knocking it out that time. That was uh, Giovanni Jones. Giovanni makes me hungry. Yeah. Shout out to our guy, Giovanni. Yep. There's a three. Oh, nice nope. stroke. Just didn't go in. Very good look. And well, nice, nice job showing the ball and then trying to get the layup off. Gavin Riley with his second Tyler personal Eastridge, foul. Number 15, Gavin Riley, his second personal That's foul. going to put Trevor Davis, Davis to the line. Trevor has been handling the ball most of the night. You can tell he's a little bit fatigued. Trevor Davis shooting. Maybe he'll get a reward here. Let's see. A little short, nope. which is a sign of fatigue. Yes, sir. Oh, rattled it out. Yep. Fight for it, and it'll stay right. with Easter. I mean, Jenkins. Comes, comes to Jenkins. Got four minutes and 15 seconds remaining. 75 Eastridge, 31 Jenkins. Go ahead and give a shout out to uh, Hunter Dameron. He'll be our Intermountain Sports uh, Player of the Game, Ooh. sponsored by Your Heart Security. I think we got by with a walk right there. Yeah. The new rule is that when you move your feet, you must dribble. Yeah. We're going to have a makeup here. Yeah, a little offensive call. That is on 13. I believe that's Keegan, it. Yep. That's five fouls. Keegan Bentley, yep. Keegan Bentley, his fifth and final foul. Keegan has worked hard tonight, had a really good Keegan second Keegan half, but that will end Ryan his night with 345 to go in the game. And the East Ridge working it back. They're going to take their time out. There's going to be a three by Lockhart. No good. Lockhart is not bashful. Nope. You get that true shooter's mentality. You can't get in the scorebook if you don't shoot it. Another Johnson good drive. Johnson drive for two. He's really, really That's came on Johnson. in this fourth quarter. 75-33. Try to go inside, ball off the leg of 
media timeout. Timeout, 75-33. Eastridge will be right back. This is Intermountain Sports Network. Even on the most perfect day, the unexpected can happen. But with just one call to their local Red Ribbon expert at Overhead Door, they can get their garage door fixed or replaced in a jiffy. The genuine, the original Overhead Door for all of life's little ups and downs. Welcome back to the T.W. Oliver Memorial Gymnasium here as Eastridge leads at 75-33. And it looks like the Warriors are going to punch their ticket to the championship. Yeah, they've played really well. They've had opportunity to get all their guys in the game as well. It's just a uplifting night for them going into district finals. They'll uh, they'll advance tonight, obviously, with a, with a great effort and stem from a lot of good defense and really efficient offense. Oh, ball tipped around and it will stay with Eastridge. Still in that 2-3 zone, Jenkins yep. is, and Eastridge is being patient moving the ball around the perimeter. Let's see what they can get out of this possession. Taking their time, Eastridge looking. They try to go inside. Nice job of Stewart. Knock that one back out of there. Well, runner is good out there by number 12. That is Gunner Ward. We're about to run out of position. I here. know. There's looking, oh, 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 Stewart. Nice hand. Stewart, yeah. Yes. Wow. Well, good shot, boy. That was, a, that was a tough look, too. I have no idea how he got that thing to the basket. He was actually behind the glass. But a great effort, great catch, and rewarded with a great shot. Lockhart for three, no good. Rebounding there for Stewart. Johnson drives to the basket and got it up. Nope. Might have got by with the yeah. travel there. Yeah. There's a runner. But no. He is working hard in there. Yes, the glass. he is. Working hard. Jump ball. Jump ball. Stays with the Cavaliers. Under two minutes to go here. Only the second jump ball of the night outside of the start in first half and second half. See my buddy Rob Carlisle watching us down there. There's a foul down inside. Fouls on number 15, Gavin Riley. It'll be Gavin Riley. His third. Teams. A lot of fouls piling up for the, the Warriors. That's nine for the yep. half. We're going to take that to the line. At the line for the Cavaliers, number 33, Austin Johnson. Austin's been at the free throw line quite a bit in this fourth yep. quarter. One in the bonus coming for him here, so got to make the first one to get two. Going to talk too fast, but he's really shot free throws well. Makes that one. Got one more coming his way. Minute 35 left here in the ballgame. Makes them both. Made me look smart. Good yeah. job right there, Austin. Jenkins trying to make it more respectable now, getting, the, getting some baskets. Yes. Ball moving right around the perimeter really well by Eastridge here. Let's see if they can penetrate the zone a little bit, and that'll give them an opportunity to get a shot in. Well, or you just scoot back. Yeah. Great rebound by Stewart. He's really mopped up the glass here in this fourth quarter. Jenkins, there's a three. That's Ooh. good. Johnson. Johnson has had a great fourth quarter. Lockhart gets it back out top. There's a drive in the middle. Runner is no good, but going to the free throw line will be Gavin Riley. Fouls on Jenkins, number double zero, Giovanni Jones. His first personal foul. Jones will pick up the foul. Riley has two free throws coming. Makes Boom. the first one. Nice stroke. Six 
Saggy one is up and no good. Rebound Jenkins. 40 Johnson. seconds to go. Let's see what they can create here in the closing seconds. We'll try to go into Stewart and we'll nope. turn around jumper. No. Rebound comes off to Eastridge. Gunner Ward with it. Lockhart for three. Rebound. Put back up and in by number four, Woods. Jacob Woods. Nice shot. Good cleanup by work there by Woods. I'm going to assume that is the brother of Isaac Woods since somebody just said good job of the Woods brothers. Oh. That'll be out of bounds, and that's the end of the ball game. 80 to 40. The Jenkins or the Jenkins Cavalier fall to the East Ridge Warriors. We'll take a break and we'll be back in just a moment. This Intermountain Sports Network. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Appalachian Wireless now offers Unlimited Plus with 50 gigabytes of data and no overages. And it starts at just $90 a month for the first line. Go to AppalachianWireless.com or visit a retail store for more information on Unlimited Plus. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Gearheart Broadband gets solutions for your small business right. Fiber connects you to the cloud with speeds up to one gig with digital voice, the right video solutions, and local support. Make the right call. Gearheart Broadband. Smart devices make our lives better, but they're also susceptible to hackers. That's why Plume helps identify when a device is acting strange. You mean like talking to itself for no reason? I'm talking to the audience. March Gladness here at Pop Chevy in Prestonsburg, which means we've got 0% for up to 72 months and 1.9% for up to 84 months on select new vehicles. Got a stimulus check coming? Put that money down on a vehicle that's going to last longer than this pandemic on one of our hundreds of pre-owned vehicles here on the lot. Come take advantage of March Gladness here at Pop Chevy 600 US 23 in Prestonsburg. You'll be glad you did. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. Any home can be improved with better Wi-Fi. That's why Gearheart Broadband offers Plume Wi-Fi, a reliable signal throughout your home, enhanced by mobile app features. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to learn more. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now, you've got one-touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Welcome back to the... Pikeville High School Gymnasium here as the East Ridge Warriors win, the, what was it, uh, 70 to 80 to, 80 to 40. 80 to 40. So big win for the Warriors as they shut the scoreboard off on me quickly tonight. Everybody ready to go home. We're getting this will be a long week. They really did. They know what's ahead, but yeah. certainly a, a high scoring game yes. there by East Ridge and a good second half by Jenkins. Made it, made it respectable did. and uh, really did most of their production scoring in the second half. We'll go ahead and give us some uh, final numbers on some of these guys. Yeah, through Jenkins here, we, they were led by Austin Johnson with 22. He was 8 for 10 from the free throw line. That's a that's a great stat line. Yes. And most of his damage was done in the first and fourth quarter. Uh, Trevor Davis got in the scoreboard with two points. Uh, Keegan Bentley fouled out early, but he ended up with nine points. Uh, and then Colby Stewart rounded out the scoring for Jenkins uh, with eight, uh, those being in the first and second half. Eastridge had a lot more work in uh, a lot of action going on. You had Isaac Woods with nine, Eli Rose with 10, 
Braxton Stanley with four. Eli Sykes with eight. Uh, high score was Hunter Dameron with 19. Uh, Jackson Potter with five. Matthew Mills with two. Brad Howell with three. Zach Mason with seven. Jacob Woods with seven. Gavin Riley with one. And I did not catch number 12's name. He got him. He got him two as well. Number 12 as is Gunner Ward. Ward. Gunner Ward with two as well. So appreciate those. To Kelly, a lot of snaps, but you know, our player of the game again is Hunter Dameron. Had a great start to the ball. Started both halves. Actually started really well in the first quarter and then start the second half. We'll shoot the ball well from outside. Hit a bunch of threes. East Ridge hit a bunch of threes all together. Yeah, they ended up with 11 threes on the game, which is which is good, and, and that's with running clock. Yeah. So they had 11 at the end of the third quarter, and don't think they made another one in the fourth, but certainly got them off to a great start, and uh, a lot to be said for Hunter Dameron's work early and work late. He did. Uh, he was very well deserving of the, the player of the game tonight as well, and Jenkins, uh, Austin Johnson for their team was also very, very good with 22 points as well. I want to remind everybody one more time, this game brought to you tonight by Appalachian Wireless, Jennifer Reynolds State Farm, HTP Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, Pop Chevrolet, Total Pharmacy, Intermountain Cable, Community Trust Bank, Remax, Frontier Medical Group, Southern Prep, Your Heart Security, Citizens National Bank of Kentucky, Howard Family Pharmacy, Attorney John Earl Hunt, Overhead Door of Eastern Kentucky, Hutch Chevrolet, and Pikeville RV. And again, congratulations to Hunter Dameron, our Intermountain Sports Player of the Games, uh, sp sponsored by Your Heart Security. And that'll wrap it up for us here from the T.W. Oliver Memorial Gymnasium for Mark on camera, for our director, Alex, for my partner, Kelly Wells. This is Charlie Pinson. We'll see you tomorrow night on the Intermountain Sports Network.